In the fall, 29 years ago, I had no idea that God was just really going to call me to change my life and turn my life completely around. A scripture that typifies my life then and then even now is Matthew 6 verse 33, but seek first his kingdom and his righteousness and all these things will be given to you as well. It's a scripture that I've had to lean on and call on throughout my life. Uh, first in becoming a Christian, uh, from Columbia University being met and reached out to because I knew that in making this decision more than likely my dad would cut off my senior year tuition and that's exactly what he did. And just true to the Matthew 6.33 scripture, God opened the door and I got a great job as an engineer instead that made a, enough money that summer to pay for my senior year with my mom's help. I was on the original team, I was one of the 18, and it was an exciting adventure. I had just been baptized one year prior to coming here, and uh, I had never lived in a large city before, so I really had to make a decision I was going to trust and obey. We evangelized everywhere we went, uh, whether we were on our way to classes, wherever we were walking, talking, in class, we were just looking for opportunities where we could invite people to learn about Jesus. Even in our time in the ministry, we've had great opportunities to help and build and strengthen the church where we served as interns for a number of years, and then even having the opportunity to go to Africa. Uh, that decision took giving it all over to God, because at that time, uh, there was no money to afford sending other missionaries. And I just told my wife, honey, if we make this decision, it can work. God can really take care of our needs and make it happen. So three weeks after we got married, we moved to Africa. So in going to Zimbabwe, we had to either sell or give away everything that we didn't need because we could only bring two suitcases each. The suitcases and a leaky air mattress, and we slept on that leaky air mattress and we had to pump it up in the middle of the night. We were living on the edge, but God took care of us. He gave us opportunities and ways to just make things happen and afford to stay there for years. Walking into the best school in the country, finding out that a teacher just a week before had up and quit in the science department where I needed a job. Uh, I was called Murungu Anopengo, the crazy white guy, because the brothers and sisters there were just so encouraged by our love and our, our commitment to them there. And then even in returning back to the States after four years, again, we had to sell or give away everything that we didn't need because we could only return with two suitcases each. And then we had a baby. Uh, coming back from Africa, we had a baby, the same four suitcases, and just about $2,000. And God opened doors, just uh, apartments, gave me an opportunity to get a great job there as a teacher in New York City and have another daughter here born in the Big Apple. Uh, just the opportunities to lead a Bible talk, to starting to lead the children's ministry here in New York, and even become a deacon. In the 28 years that I've been a Christian, I've just seen God work in so many ways in my life. Uh, the same theme of seeking first God, seeking first His kingdom, seeking first His righteousness, and how all the things that we need or all the worries that we can have can be taken care of as well. It's such an honor as we come to the 30th anniversary of the church here in New York that I'm getting a chance to be appointed to serve as an elder and to take care of the needs of the church here in New York. To God be the glory for this great occasion.